So I guess I never filmed an intro. Oops. But hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This tutorial is one I filmed a few weeks back when I was on a bit of a spree and I decided it would be a good go-to New Year's Eve look. So if you're interested in seeing it, keep on watching. All right, so I've got a couple spots that I want to, that I want to cover up before anything else. So to start, I'm going to go in with Burnt Orange from the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. I'm going to take that on a Morphe fluffy brush, the one that I always go in with. I think it's a B38. I'm gonna pop that in the crease area as our transition color. Okay, next, after that, I'm going to take Love Letter. Actually, no. So I'm going to take Venetian Red, it's like magenta color right here. I'm going to take that on an M433 brush. It looks pretty similar to my R39. I'm going to put this on the outer corner mostly. And then only slightly bring it up into the crease. Okay. Yep, that works for me. Now, I'm going to clean up the crease area. I'm just going to take my tiny sponge. Okay, so that's all cleaned up. I'm going to take this Pat McGrath pigment. It's this really beautiful gold. So it, is, it says it's the Pat McGrath Labs Gold 007 Crystalline Microfine Pigment. Comes looking like this, teeny tiny, but super gorgeous. Don't want it to fall out anywhere. I'm going to take that on, can you guess? Can you guess what I'm gonna use? I'm going to take my Morphe R42, this flat one, has this like really nice flat edge to just press pigment, pigments onto the eye. I'm going to see if I need glue for this or if this is just like fairy dust. I might need glue. I'm going to take my, I'm going to take, I'm going to take my NYX glitter primer. Pop this all over the lid. That's super pretty. I love it. Let's do the other eye. Okay, pigments on. I'm going to finish the outer eye area. I think I'm going to pop on more Venetian red and this red ochre color right here. What are you doing? All right, so next. I'm going to apply, I'm gonna curl my lashes first this time. I'm going to apply mascara to my top lashes with my Lancome Grandiose Mascara. I'm gonna curl my lashes first. I guess the question is what lashes I wanna pop on. Where are my tweezers? Huh, why can't I find anything? There they are. Oh, this is like hella bored right now. All right, I'm gonna take these Ardell, I think they're 810s. Yeah, they're 810s. And I'm going to be going with, oh my God. I'm going to be using my Duo Eyelash Adhesive in the dark tone. I don't know what it is about the white one. It just, I don't know, not doing it for me. Sometimes when the band feels a little like stiff, I go like this and just like bend it in half and shake it or twist. I don't know what phrase, what that would be, but. It's what I do so that it's it fits to the curve of my eye a little bit better. All right, those are on. All right, moving on to my face. I'm going to prime my skin with the, of course, Eyelips Face Elf Poreless Face Primer. I still haven't decided what foundation I wanna to use today. I think I'm going to take the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. I wish this one had a pump. I'm going to take this Morphe, like, flat foundation brush or big concealer brush. I don't really know what it is. I'm just gonna use that to put this on my face. And then I will dampen my big Real Technique sponge with some Fix Plus. And I will just pounce this out into the skin. Okay, 
So I'm just going to pop my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer just in like the inner corner. And right, I'm going to take my Tarte Shape Tape in like neutral. I'm gonna just highlight the center of my forehead. I think that's the most perfect line I've ever drawn down my nose. Got this again, just war paint, you know? I'm going to leave my nose alone for just a moment so that it sets a little bit more, so that I have a sharper nose contour. Um, okay, I'm going to set my under eye just right here with some powder. And so I can finish up my under eye. All right, I'm going to take my R41 brush, this little pencil brush, pop on Venetian red underneath my eye, and bring it all the way over. And then red ochre. And then I will take my M4431 and blend this all out. I'm just gonna set the sides of my nose because again, I do wear glasses and I don't want any like marks on my nose. I'll set my smile lines. And then before I carve out anything else, I'm going to go in with my NYX contour and highlight kit. I'm going to take this shade right here to do my highlight points. And then I'll probably take these two right here or maybe like these. I don't know, sometimes I mix them and I will contour my face in a moment. Look like a ghost. All right, and then I will take my R, uh, this is my R8 brush. I still can't see, I should remember by now. I'm going to contour my face. I take my contour from the top of my ear and follow like the hollow of my cheek. And then I'll take my Real Technique sponge and just kind of blend that out. Cause we do want a strong contour, but you know, we don't want it to look like we just have like a line of makeup down the side of our face. You want it to look like shading more natural. To the top of my, look at all my freaking baby hairs. What do I do with them? Do I cut them off? Like, Whatever. All right, that's fine. All right. So for my highlight, I'm going to use Champagne Pop by Becca. And I'm just going to pop that on my high points. Okay, so I'm just going to finish my face. I'm going to do my brows, apply a lip color, and that should be it. I will be right back. All right, so this completes this look. I did pop on a little bit of Cypress Umber, this brown shade right here, and Oud from the um, Huda Beauty Desert Dust Palette, just to deepen up like the outer crease area. And then for my lip color, I went in with the Pat McGrath, the Pat McGrath Labs Slay Omi, O-M-I. It's this really pretty like, deep brownish red color. And then I can't, I don't know if you can see it. I did go over it with some of uh, the pigment a little bit more. But yeah, everything is done. I did go in with the uh, Makeup Revolution, the matte blush in nude, just to give my cheeks a little bit of color. And then I did my brows the same way that I always do them. So that completes this look. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you'd like to get notifications whenever I post, hit the bell icon right down there next to the subscribe button. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.